Yo, good morning everyone! So this is the first day in Turkey and we're all excited because the breakfast was good, the pool was good, everything is good but we must go check out the forest. So we drove like 15 minutes to the nearby forest and we ran a course from last year from the official Jaywalk training camp. And it was scary because the first time I went into the forest I couldn't understand shit, there were so many rocks and right here at the 6th control I didn't find anything but what I did find is a live turtle! He was just crawling through the grass, I was so happy. But yeah, the, the green areas were tough. There, there were thorns everywhere and that was that hurt. <laughs> this morning, we're seeing that the Swiss, Switzerland team is like a stretch, so, so we're following them. We're just doing the same, the same exact thing. <laughs> it's, it's called life hacks, it's called uh, learning from the best. So yeah. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, today we're doing the model event for the middle distance, and the terrain is crazy. There are hills, there are bushes, there are rocks, and I just loved it. I made a couple of mistakes, but it was so cool. All right, so this went much better than yesterday. And I'm prepared, I'm prepared. We got some uh, some armor alone. So after lunch I put on the new drip from True Story, it is so good. And we went to the sprint model event. I've never run in this terrain because there was there were so many large hills and you had to climb up the stairs up and down and it was crazy. You can see all over the valley. Actually, very good. Actually, actually, we like it. But we will not give up on this fight. I didn't have any appetite. All right. Good morning, everyone. This is actually the first day of JVOG. And I must say, I'm nervous. I am nervous as anyone should be. And I couldn't really eat anything. And they don't have oatmeal, they don't have porridge in the breakfast. That sucks. Anyhow, we have to go to start. It's gonna be crazy. It's like 200 meters of climb in the sprint. So I've never done that. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. The JVOX sprint is here. I tried to calm myself down so much but I couldn't because I knew it's going to be tough, I knew it's going to hurt, so I just ran and you had to go up and down and I enjoyed it a lot. It was stairs, it was... and I think the fourth leg was the decisive one for a lot of people. So my first mistake is that I didn't take enough time to figure out my route choice and my plan was to go around this huge hill and I went too much far down. But <laughs> guess what, you have to go up the hill to find the control, so my route choice didn't pay off at all. And I lost like a minute to that. So yeah, I got the 86th place and I mean it's bad, but it's technically the 86th place in the world. So I can't complain. It was, it was okay. <laughs> Alright, the sprint didn't go that well. I mean, I tried my best. I, I ran my pace. I didn't go too fast, so I didn't make any mistakes. But that meant I was quite slow. <laughs> is just insane now i know that so today 
our goal is to get into the A final of middle distance and we'll see how it goes for our team because we're all, all going for that, I think everybody is. So now I'm going to roll out my legs because my, my ass is feeling so tight, my glutes, oh my god. What is up, the second race of Jaywalk is here, the middle qualification. First of all, the warm-up map was very helpful, I've never ran in a warm-up map and I knew how to like read the green, read the boulders from the map. But yeah, anyhow, when I took the map and I opened it, it was just all boulders and rocks and I knew it's going to be so challenging, the orienteering at least. So basically the rules of the qualification are that from each group, 20 people make it to the A final and there are 45 people in each group. So how did my race go? I was super nervous to the first control. I ran so fast that I luckily I didn't make a mistake to this first control, but I made a huge mistake to the second control. And it wasn't even a difficult control, there were no boulders, there were no cliffs. So after the mistake, for the difficult controls, I didn't make a single mistake. I had a perfect run and I would have made it to the final with my abilities on the rocky train. And unfortunately I didn't. I got the 40th place and I was generally mad about it. I didn't record a single clip that day. <laughs> it took quite some time to calm down and to remember that sports is sports and shit happens. So <laughs> it's all good. So yesterday was the, the qualification for middle distance, wasn't it? And we didn't make it to the A final, none of us. So what happened, Lazan? What happened yesterday? <laughs> okay, wh what happened to you, Gustav? Uh, hmm. I made <laughs> a mistake on the 13th control and uh, yeah, overall run pretty slow because I wanted to be careful. So today we have uh, the B final and we'll see who is the uh, the slowest, fastest Latvian, I guess, <laughs> because, because we're all slow, but we'll see who's the not slowest, fastest, anyways. Here we have the bomb. Crazy, <laughs> 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 So when I took the warm-up map, I was generally scared because it looked much more difficult than yesterday's and I actually almost got lost a few times <laughs> because it, you, you just can't locate yourself between the bushes and jungle and rocks and cliffs, it's difficult. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the beginning of the race was just fabulous, it, the terrain was beautiful. I still made a lot of mistakes, but I was happy because the train was so great and it, it was definitely the final of the World Orienteering Championships for juniors. So my result wasn't anything great, but now I know what I need to do in my main distance, in long distance. I need to get my shit together. So yeah, that's next up. <laughs> after the rest day and today is long distance and we have to leave in like 45 minutes let's see if I can run better in the long we'll see how it goes because I'm excited it's going to be a hell of a lot of climb but it's going to be interesting So finally it's the long distance and I was starting very slowly. I went to the first control like extremely slowly and I got lost. How? I don't know. Probably it was the mistake on the map because the roads were they were so difficult to read and a lot of people had mistakes to the first so 
I don't know. Anyways, so there were a lot of like middle distance length controls at the start and I liked that. And the first root choice was to date. And I chose to go down, which I think was not the right choice because I lost two minutes to Gustav Stanya. And it's crazy, two minutes? That is, that is a huge mistake. Maybe I was just slower. I am not, I don't think so. Then there was the root choice to the land. And this was just horrific because you had to go all the way to the other side of the map. And I loved it. So I went a little left over the highest mountain on the map. And that was just horrible because it was such a long climb. But all the way down to the control, it was just downhill. Except for the last part, of course. But I think it was a great route choice and I'm proud of myself. Then, unfortunately, I made a mistake to the 12th, to the 13th and to the 14th control. Just a couple of seconds. But anyways, the last part was great. I went over the mountain to the left to the 15th. And the last loop was also perfect because I had some competition next to me. And we completely supported each other. We didn't make mistakes. It was a great one. I see it, Jakob! I see it, 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 I see it! Yo, she just got intense because I'm running the last like for Latvian first team and that is making me a little nervous because that is a lot of uh, responsibility, you know, <laughs> to run the anchor leg for Team Latvia and we'll see how it goes. I'll, I mean, I'll try my best, I'll do my own orienteering. Yeah, it's the same terrain, so I, I feel like it's going to go really well. And as you can see, it has rained a little today, so we'll see how it's in the forest. So since being in quarantine I can't film anything, uh, I can say that it rained the whole day. The hills were still the same height as yesterday, and my legs were so beat up that I couldn't master any energy to run up them. So my only real mistake was the first one, where I didn't check the compass after going through the green. So the rest of the run went quite okay. The last part of the race was through some green area, which wasn't very helpful. <laughs> but that's it for JVOC. We got the 23rd place in total. What can you do? That's it. Team Latvia, thank you. Mace, as I'm stupid here.